Hey Pisces, welcome to your soul path kundalini, okay, awakening reading here. Okay, you may have to come back and watch this one many times, but we will see. Please make sure that you watch at least the beginning of the kundalini video in the energetic conversations uh, playlist so that you have an idea as to what I am talking about, <laughs> okay? Um, as well, for those of you that are new, welcome. I am an intuitive. Much of what you see here will not be traditional. Just take what resonates for you and leave the rest. I'm trying to decide if I heard Oscar or not. I don't want to really get into it and then find out he's standing at the door. Let me check. All right, no Oscar. So hopefully he will just stay wherever he is. All right, so those are you returning. Thank you. I appreciate you. Please make sure you click on the like. Okay, that is the way to help get this message out to others, to help grow the channel, to help thank all of the spirit guides and your ancestors and angels that step in to support you in these readings, okay? So for the collective, okay, deeply grounded, deeply rooted, right next to the emotions, but not quite in there, but heart open, okay? I feel like you might just be recovering. You may have stepped out of the water and recovering from a past intense awakening. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what is going on for Pisces. All right, let's pull out your Kundalini planes. Thank you. No? Okay. No? All right. As you wish. Okay. At the bottom here, <laughs> the shaman, okay, the magician, the manifester, like you have gone through at least three massive iterations of trying to um, reach, I feel like, that 13th plane, okay, where you feel like that container is full, but you are definitely, okay, on the move in this lifetime to get there. So let's go ahead, give me one more second here to align the energies, and we're going to get started, okay? All right, so the pink chakra or soul body, all right, this is where your soul is communicating with your heart, all right? It's the queen, okay? It's the awareness, it's the power, it's the... Um, one area where you are holding on to that grip of what needs to be created for the right moment, for all of the right timing to really spark that fire. I'm really getting that queen of fire energy, okay? That, that Pachamama, okay, inner magma of the universe, okay, coming through in that. 
for your positive mind, okay, your consciousness, um, you may feel like you just keep coming up against a dead end, okay? There is a lot of entanglement here, a lot of darkness that you are holding on to, really refusing, they're showing me the raven, <laughs> okay, in your hand. You are refusing the rebirth in many ways in this life, Pisces, okay, to follow your soul path. Your neural mind, okay, where you're tapping into your intuition and your um, intuitive guidance, you are very aligned with the highest power of all. Like, <laughs> you're a lover, not a fire, Pisces, okay? And I do feel like you already, for most of you, you've already probably met your divine partner. And there's a lot of healing that's taking place in the 3D, in the heart chakras on both ends. Because your ego is really caught up in your heart space of who's doing most of the work, okay? Who's doing most of the work in this life? And on the outside of it, you have, right? The queen, the power, all right? That pink chakra energy. But there's this really resistant fight within. This six of swords of just trying to go along with things and not really power through, okay? Now, your physical body here, all right, which is really interesting, is the gem. Some of you may finally be focusing or being forced to focus on your body. And this is all a way for the universe, for your higher self, for everything to force through that auric shield and to work through that kundalini energy to tap into your body. Okay. Um, they're showing me a couple of different things. I'm not a doctor, okay, but um, I'm getting that there is definitely um, somebody that is reacting to the grain products, especially the gluten products. Um, which probably has to do more with the chemicals, okay, than the makeup of the protein. They're also showing me um, parasites. They're showing me skeletons here. So um, perhaps you're not absorbing or taking enough minerals into your diet. Um, I know the soil is very lacking in a lot of the minerals. So just some things to be aware of, okay, within your energy field. Again, not curing, treating, <laughs> diagnosing, none of that, all right? Um, your third eye balance, the arc line, okay, with the astral plane is the bardo, okay? You see things from the other side that nobody else does. You probably see dead people that are still stuck here, okay? And um, they seek you out to give you messages. But um, I feel like you don't really, <laughs> you don't really want those messages. Some of you may be called to the psychopomp okay, um, work in this world and haven't looked into it even, okay? Your aura here is trying to unwind the karmic energies here in, I feel like, all of the planes, especially you may have felt this last moon very intensely, but you may be being triggered by a lot of people within your circle, okay? Trying to get you to look at what you have, what you don't have, what you need. There's a lot of energy coming through. And what you, um, what you, what you really need to know, they're telling me to get on the right path. 
the pranic body, okay, your lungs, like you're not working through your heart chakra. Like you are putting no, no effort into your heart chakra. And the easiest way to start is just with breathing exercises. And the empty room here is a box and you could just do box breathing. Okay, breathe in for four seconds, hold for four seconds, breathe out for four seconds, wait for four seconds. Okay, that's the easiest thing. Don't do that when you're anxious though, because that will trigger your fight or flight. If you're anxious, just breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, no holding. Okay, no making your body think that it's not gonna breathe. Okay, by holding on for a second. Okay, so subtle body. Okay, what you're creating in this reality, um, you feel it. You know that you could create anything that you set your mind to it. But because you're not working through this heart space, you go into this darkness and you wear a mask and you don't show your full potential. All right. Um, your radiant body, the light and sound work. I feel like you're just starting to investigate, to really see the benefits of frequency work, of light work, of sound baths, of... Um, listening to frequencies and um, partnering with maybe even somebody that is very aligned to all of this. Okay, but the pilgrim, okay, the you're taking a leap into this new energy that is going to be very healing, I feel, for you. Now, in the lower realm, okay, Pachamama, spirit animal, your guides, your ancestors, your DNA. Um, again, you're trying to control the vow, all right? Now, they always, they've been showing me the nine here, okay? Um, but I'm also getting that the number 24 is very important to you. So perhaps, um, perhaps you've known this person for 24 years or their birth date is a 24 or there's a significance to 24, but there's something that's been going on that you've been trying to control for, um, maybe even nine months, okay, that's really connected to this bond that you have. Now, the upper realm, <laughs> what I really love about this, okay, this is your connection to your higher self, your angels, your soul contracts, your Akashic records. We've got the king and the maiden, okay? I feel like you are very deeply connected to your divine partner. Okay, your higher selves are connected. Um, I feel like for most of you, you are definitely, um, I mean, there's, there's no way out, out of this. Like the king to me, they're showing me that the king has sealed this contract, okay? Like, they are not letting go of this contract. The maiden, um, however, I feel like is going through this rebirth energy of refinding, reigniting with their feminine um, being. And the life container that you've created through all of this, okay, the master creator is this transformation in love, okay, the lover. Like you have come here very much to really create that soul purpose coming from this very heart-centric energy that follows you throughout this and I do feel like that's really, really important for you to understand. Okay, 
So let's dig a little deeper, all right? Tell me about the queen here, okay? Yeah, divine love. That is the core component of your life here. You've connected with the divine partner you've been seeking. I am triggered in healing by the mirror energies for union. Okay, but there is that queen of fire, that control. There's a lot of control energy in all of this. Okay, tell me about this divine love. Yeah, all right. Three of cups. You could be more or less uh, in a friend zone with this person, um, more of buddies or party partners than um, lovers. And you may be wondering, why is my cup not full? Well, everyone's cups around me seem to be doing great. Well, the foundation has to come from you. Like you have to heal your heart in order to, you know, create this. <laughs> I apologize if you hear my, <laughs> this, uh, it's releasing. And maybe that's a symbol. Maybe you are releasing as well. Okay, the dead end, your soul purpose. Okay. Yeah, you're blocking your soul purpose to be a guide. Okay. You're seeking signs, but you already have what you've come here for. Okay, and you're looping the same old storyline over and over, despite the fact that you keep getting the symbolism and the messages and the guidance that you are like on this path, right? The magician, okay? Again, <laughs> it comes back to this tree, right? You're right outside the emotional energy. Like they're almost showing me the idea of baptism by emotion, okay? You're right there in the tree it's like the sun is setting in the magician the sun has risen okay so it's like night and day if you could just allow yourself to break through and to have what you've already manifested instead of being stuck in this past loop right like you there would be no stopping you. Okay, because you are mirroring, trying to work into that healed green heart chakra energy, right? That chronic energy. And you're very tapped in to the Godhead, okay? To universal love. But you feel like something's missing, okay? I feel like it's the flame. I don't feel like you're going to have the flame until you heal your heart, right? The queen is holding on with control. Okay, I'm not going to light the fire until the heart cauldron has sealed up the holes so that this, this water cauldron can actually boil the water, right? Um, I'm on a journey to something I can feel is very important, but it is yet out of reach. Although you're touching it energetically, it is not out of reach. Okay, but again, <laughs> instigation, Prince of Wands, right? You're at the point of almost being there, right? Like you, you're seeking the illumination. They're showing me almost like, you know how when the moon comes out during the day, you're like, oh, hey, La Luna, what are you doing here, right? Like you're seeking that, you're holding the fire, right? But there's just no, there's no emotion on the horizon. And you're not, you can't move into that queen of wands, queen of fire energy and really ignite anything until you move into that emotion. And that really is, right? Um, and I feel like your ego is just trying to control it. 
and that's the problem. Even in the heart card, right? Like they're in the boat. They're not in the emotion. There's definitely um, the limbic brain is our ego center, our tiny toddler, our fear center, where you are projecting from the past onto the current moment. Okay, projection. Your energy of projection is alchemy. So it is magic, okay? You can use it any way you want. It can be used to manifest and transmute. I can project my energy from love or ego depending on my impulse control. Okay. And so, right, again, there's this desire to explore your emotions Princess of Wands, but that's a page, so you're not, you're just thinking about it. You're not really doing anything about it. Now, where this is really showing up, right, is going to be in that physical body. But let me pull this out first to go through the energetic mind energy, right? Yeah, okay, autumn. Autumn is when, right, we really move into out of the sun and into the emotion. We move into, we're moving slowly into death to come out the other side into rebirth. And this is where the feminine right now, feminine energy here is resting and trying to harvest, perhaps focusing on the season and not on themselves. Okay. And um, just focusing on the fact that there's no water, no emotions, right? Dead leaves, no sun, no photosynthesis, okay? So it's showing up in the body, okay? Solitude, you are in a state or situation of feeling alone, abandoned, and isolated, I create the distance in my relationship, seeking validation of worth, okay? Right? You've really gone inward, okay? And you're really trying to tap into things at that alchemical sort of layer. Yeah, all right? But you're... You're turning away from the work, like your lighter self and your, you know, shadow self are not working with them, one another, which means that there's no movement forward here, okay, in the chariot. So some of you, whatever you're trying to do physically, you may feel like you've hit a wall. And you don't know why. You're like, I don't understand why my body's not responding. Okay. The bardo. Okay, again, I feel like you see things, you see spirits, um, you know things. In a lot of ways, this is your strength, but you are turning away from it. You have the capacity to take on the day and any temptations withstanding. I am ready to face this situation with courage and fortitude. Okay, whatever rebirthing you are ready for here, you faced it lifetime over lifetime. There should be no fear here, right? But there we've got the devil. Okay, again, the past is coming into play. Um, it could be creating an addictive loop to a scenario, to an emotion, to anything, okay? To not move into that soul purpose alignment. Okay, and we've got here, okay, your shield, your EMF shield. You're trying, especially since the moon, to release that old karmic layer. But again, you're doing it in alone, in silence. I feel like that's why it's going to be so important when we hit the sound frequency, the light frequencies. Sound is important, okay? And you're restricting your throat chakra due to an uncertainty. 
I am not telling others how they impact my world due to unknowns or reactions. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is very much, again, moving slowly, growing confidence. We've got the Empress here, right? The Empress is not going to be afraid to get into those emotions at all. So when you start opening up to your sound capabilities, you will open up to your ability to deal with these emotions. Yeah, okay, the sun coming in hot. The heat is being turned up in order to force you into, okay, this um, water, to find the water, to find this healing, to seek out your happiness. Okay, the empress comes from the desert, from the, you know, the savanna, um, and is seeking the engagement of all aspects of nature, which includes sound, includes water, okay? Includes breathing through these fears that you have in the night, okay? When the life force is kind of freaking out because of the spirits that you're connecting with. Yeah, look, vision, okay? What you're seeing, you're creating the idea of what you desire in this situation, I am pushing the connection into the mind and not bringing it into reality. Okay, you have to learn to breathe through this fear when you start seeing these things that you see. Um, you see them because it is a part of your life force. It's not something that can hurt you. The fear is something that's in your mind, right? Yeah, again, remember you're unwinding here in your auric shield you are unwinding that um, karmic energy and that's what this wheel of fortune is doing right the shadows are at the top right now so that you can unwind it and right let's get rid of this darkness this mask so that you can create everything that you want bottom of the deck right remember that Reality, which is, that's what this is, the mask, is an illusion. It's what you are creating through all of your kundalini energy here. Okay, there's the fire. Okay, the phoenix. When you realize that ego's dark emotions, when you engage in love, pure energy of love here, okay, will burn away. I know when I'm feeling unloved, I often live in feelings of guilt, shame, and blame. To light this fire, to rise up like the phoenix, you have to tap in to those emotions of love or where you don't feel love. And open your heart to receive. Six of pentacles here, okay? Open your heart to receive love because money is love, okay? Open yourself to receive all of that. Okay, it's going to come in, I feel like, with light frequencies, with sound frequencies, and you may not understand a lot of it, but that's the unknown. Okay, that's the alchemical process for you. That is the hint, okay, of what's been missing for you to heal this. I feel what I am seeking, but there is a great deal of mystery of what it truly is. And that's okay. Alchemy is okay, right? Because now you're starting to realize the desert is in my head, okay? Um, you're starting to realize that the water center has always been here, okay? And once you light the fire, which you, you know, are getting ready to, then this water will, will start to boil and the steam will rise up and release that um, impatient brain cycle, okay? Yeah, 
And it's happening exactly when it is meant to happen. It's completing this life cycle as, as it is meant to do. Okay, you've been working through this life after life. And you were meant to figure it out in this lifetime, okay? Which is very beautiful. It's definitely worth celebrating, okay? So the lower realm, okay? Journey into, I feel like, those beautiful messengers, okay? About this vow and why you've been trying to control it because it is coming back around resurgence. Even if it's coming in, and here's something to understand, if it's coming in with a different person, but it feels like the right energy, then that's the energy, okay? Because it's tied to an energy, it's not tied necessarily to a person. Sometimes we get really tapped into the life container, um, but life containers are ever changing, okay? You've been given the second chance after a time of separation. I have a renewed interest in repairing the past situation, opening up to my options, okay? You're ready to open up your heart. You're ready to open up to figure out this soul contract, right? And seven of cups, right? Why, you're like, why is one cup always not being filled. We saw that with the three of cups, right? Why am I not letting my cup be filled? Why am I not allowing myself to open up my heart to receive? And ask your spirit guides, right? Go on the shamanic journey. Listen to a 15 minute drumming on YouTube and go walk to the tree, okay? Walk into the lower realm. Go into the lower realm and ask the spirit animal totems, okay? Why am I not opening my heart to receive and see what they give you? Okay. So the king and the maiden. Okay. Passion. Again, of course, the king has the passion, has already lit the fire, but maybe overly experiencing the passion may have problems. Okay. With this, you know, I've got this contract. I've got this lust. I've got this hidden agenda in the way that I feel about you, okay? And the maiden is complex, okay? The maiden needs to release their fear of opening up to their feminine space and come into harmony. I feel like, um, and this can be male or female, come into the harmony that there is both masculine and feminine within us, okay? This is a massive undertaking here, right? But it all comes down. <laughs> it all comes down to, why am I not receiving? Why am I not allowing myself to receive, right? Work with your ancestors as well. Go to the upper realm. Let the hawk, the condor, okay? Let the angels take you to your Akashic records, okay, to your soul contracts and see why you're not opening yourself up, right? Like that hair, you are the key to passion, the key to the flame. Why aren't you allowing? Why aren't you allowing it? Okay. Yeah, all right. Angel number 111. Now is the time to manifest those dreams. You and your divine partner are mirroring this energy. Okay, you're going to start getting synchronous messages. Okay, in the center of this, we have the lover, right? The, the egg has been protected, okay? The creation has been protected here. It's all about timing. But you're using any reason to push away the current moment. And that's what you need to come back. That's the manifestation happens in current moment. Okay. And we've got, all right, Prince of Swords, determination. I feel that the determination to see the truth here. Okay. It is here. I feel like it is coming from within 
to see your truth, to blossom, right? The um, ugly duckling, duckling transforming into the swan. I feel like this is key for you. Hold on a minute, Ocker. All right. Yeah. Okay, because this is a perpetual soul contract. It is never ending. Okay, and it has been extended a long time because the masculine here is not ready to, they are like, I have sealed this contract until we fix it, until this is all fixed. I am not letting it go. All right, so what do you need to work on here? Okay. Okay, hold on. I've got to let him in. I called you. I told you to come. Yeah. I told you to come. Yes, I did. All right. All right. How can I infuse more self love and compassion into my daily life? Boom, truth bomb, okay? If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. Thank you, Buddha. All right, today's soul action. Choose one self-care action to do today. Set stronger boundaries. Meditate and listen to your heart. Speak to yourself with compassion. Focus on your strengths. Say no to something that isn't a soul yes. Say yes to something you are afraid of. Let go of what you cannot control. Stay far away from drama and negativity. Ask for help and allow it, right? Ask for help and receive it. Practice that. Write down three things you are grateful for, all right? Very, very beautiful. Okay, let's see what the universe wants to add. Okay. Yeah, okay, the moon in reverse. It is time to get some of that water moving into the upper realm and to, you know, bring, right, these two together that have been in separation, even if that's your inner beings. Yeah, then the tower is going to come. But know that whatever this tower is coming for, it's for your higher spiritual growth. This is the lighting of the fire. This is the flame coming in to release the past and create the future. Okay, and there we have, again, the Six of Swords. Don't be afraid of getting into that water. All right. Do not be afraid of getting into your emotions because it is time for it. Let's go ahead and close it out with a spirit animal wisdom card here. And of course, I love it that you get this one because that was the center. That's your life container. Okay, graceful transformation. Soften your heart and find your flow. Okay, I love that. Let's go ahead and read it. It's not in alphabetical order, so I do have to find where it's at. Swan. 23. See, that's the challenge. That's a five. Okay. And I love that the swan comes with the tiger. And the tiger to me, okay, is the divine masculine energy. And the swan is divine feminine, okay? Elements, air and water, soften your heart and find your flow. The swan is a beautiful symbol of divine feminine. Okay, seeking that you pay more attention to your intuition and instinct. The swan has an angelic energy that brings grace, guiding and encouraging you to soften your heart even further. The swan will help you find the flow. She will be your guide, connecting you to your higher self for she can connect to the angelic realms above and bring down higher guidance for you. All that she asks is that you stay true to yourself and shine your inner light and inner beauty bright. 
so that the world can see it. Looking to the future, the swan will help you accept healing and transformation where you might be guarding and protecting yourself. Her energy is a gentle healer. The swan is sacred to Aphrodite, the goddess of love. They nurture true love together, okay? And the crystal companions are Amazonite, Moonstone, Blue Lattice, and Agate, okay? I love it. All right, so I hope this helps you, Pisces. I am going to do an extended. I will put that link down below to just so that you can look at your person's side of things. Okay, and I hope to see you there. All right, much love. Bye.